here at Vocal House German Shepherds, we put a strong emphasis on the amount of work that we put into our puppies. There's all sorts of moving parts to it, but people forget how important and critical those first eight weeks are. These dogs can easily become liabilities if they don't have appropriate exposure, socialization, foundations laid. My specialty when it comes to my program is puppy raising and making sure that from zero to eight weeks, they are exposed to everything and anything that they can be so they're prepared for real world. These puppies are born in a guest room whelping box so the mom can have a private area to be with their puppies. Our dogs are never left to fend for themselves. I'm there medically to support them if they need it. I spend a ton of time in the whelping box with these puppies. So evaluations start on day one. I'm assessing which puppies are getting to mom the fastest, which puppies may be bullying other puppies, which puppies are passive. Those characteristics that you see there will manifest into very similar characteristics when these dogs are adult dogs. I never want to give somebody too much dog or not enough dog because I want everybody to be successful with the dog they have. So allowing me to have that much time with them from a very early age helps me determine what type of home is most suitable for that puppy. Days three through 17, we implement both ENS and ESI, which stands for Early Neurologic Stimulation and Early Scent Introduction. Early neurologic stimulation, you're exposing these puppies to a little bit of stress. They're going to be flipped over, they're gonna be turned upside down, you're going to be handling their feet, you're going to put them on a cold surface, and then I put them right away onto their mom to feed. You're already pre-programming them to understand that stress could lead to something good. They become a little more comfortable being uncomfortable. Early scent introduction, Introducing them to multiple scents every day for those two weeks is gonna start getting the wheels turning earlier than if you just leave them in a whelping box and do nothing with them. Even though they are still deaf and they are still blind, you can see them starting to recognize odor. You can see them start acknowledging whether they like the odor or not. But regardless of them liking or disliking the odor, the exposure to a new odor every day is what's the important piece. During that time when we're doing ENS and ESI, their ears start opening. Once their ears open, we have a 24-hour loop of noises for these puppies. Fireworks, gunfire, traffic, kids crying. These things do not startle them when they leave here and get into real world because it's completely normal to them. Along with doing early neurologic stimulation, we start trimming their nails immediately. I've been in the veterinary industry a long time. I saw a lot of really bad German Shepherds that would do really bad things when you would try to trim their nails. They are very used to having their feet held, having their nails trimmed. It's something that's very important to me, so we do a lot of that here. We also start deworming them at a very young age. So we deworm them at three, five, and seven weeks just to ensure that there's no intestinal parasites. These puppies are raised on a six acre farm here. So we wanna make sure that they're completely covered from anything and everything that they can be exposed to. At three weeks old, we start litter box training. You can actually see these puppies start to recognize and acknowledge that they need to go to the bathroom. And you will see these puppies from a very young age be very successful at walking into the litter box, using the litter box, and coming back out to play and keeping their den clean and where they're sleeping clean, making the transition much easier for people when they get these puppies into their home. Once three weeks hits, that's when we start really exposing them and up the ante on all the things they're starting to see. So we are putting uneven surfaces in their living environment. We are putting can curtains, things that they have to run through, like tunnels. We also make sure the area they're living in has multiple changing surfaces. So it may be a blanket in one area, laminate or linoleum in another area. We want to make sure these puppies aren't phased by surface changes. 
When the puppies are three weeks old, we implement for the next seven days what we call startle week. We will expose them to different things that will startle them in their environment, whether I am dropping something loud, starting a vacuum right next to the whelping pen, slamming a door. You can create this behavior that when they do experience something that startles them, it's not that scary. It builds the muscle memory of, I get startled, but everything's okay. Let's just keep moving forward. They start eating solid foods around four weeks old. From that point forward, we are doing hunting drills with their food. I will hide the food in the whelping pen and they have to depend on nothing but their noses to find their way to the food. When we start feeding them solid food, in that moment, I start implementing a puppy recall for clients. that is reliable through years of that dog's life. We've had dogs come back that I use that puppy, puppy, puppy recall, and those dogs come flying to me, whether they come back at six months old, two years old, whatever that may be. These puppies have a full-fledged recall by the time they leave. Vogel House German Shepherds is situated on a six acre farm. As soon as they can go outside, they are outside. As they get older, they are starting to explore this property. These puppies need to learn from a young age how to interact with dogs that are their size, that are smaller than them, that are bigger than them. And the best way to start them off on the right foot or paw for that matter is to put them around stable adult dogs that are going to teach them the ways of the world. They also are exposed to horses and goats. We have cows and alpacas next door. So the exposure is everything and anything they could need while they are here just from being on this property alone on top of everything else we do. Once the puppies turn four weeks, we start taking them outside into what we call our Puppy Olympics play gym. Once they start going into this outdoor play gym, they are changing environments twice a day. So they go from their indoor environment to their outdoor play environment and back inside. Multiple environment changes is important for puppies because it gets them used to transitioning from one place to another and getting comfortable in these new environments. I spend a lot of time with these puppies and building and developing this program, but I am only half of the equation. My puppy buyers are the other half of the equation, and those people are just as important to me as these puppies are to me. They become literal family members. I hear from them nonstop, and pickup day is always something that's near and dear to my heart because these are people who I have fully vetted. So when they pull up in my driveway and that little puppy goes running to them and greets them and you can just see how excited they are, I mean, at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. I know when they leave with that puppy that every single person is getting their best friend.